I am Mrs. Space to win, and welcome back to part 22 of the No More Heroes playthrough. Last time around, we could speed Buster in half, and we're going to move on to the rank 2 mission. But before we do that, there's actually a couple of things I want to show you around town. So, as usual, we're going to go, we're going to skip to them straight away so we can get on with the mission. The first thing is after obtaining our Japanese katana from the rank 3 mission, we need to go and drop this off with Dr. Naomi. I'm sure she'll appreciate this fine piece of weaponry. It's not like Thunder Ryu is going to be using it anytime soon. Uh, it's called a katana, I'll have you now. Found it. On the floor. By itself. No strings attached. Awesome, she's going to make a new katana for us. I don't want something crazy, I just want something that can cut through men like butter. So, once you've given her the sword and you go away for 15 minutes or so, you come back and da 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 da, you now can obtain Subaki Mark III, the fourth and final beam katana available within the game. Just take note though, this is going to cost you the exact amount needed for the next round, fat. So, you better start saving those pennies up again if you want to get Thunder Ryu's improved beam katana. Speaking of the old codger, actually, it's interesting to know that even after he's died, you're still able to go into his gym. Well, I'm sure we can swap something here and just use the equipment. Might as well do so, seeing how he's not going to be using it. Oh no. Oh god, he's come back for revenge! I'm sorry! The sword! I just took it by accident! I didn't mean to swipe it! It was glowing red and everything! And why are you still alive? This doesn't make sense. So, even though Thunder Ryu's dead, he refuses to die and stays as a ghost. You know, I don't feel comfortable training with my ghost of my teacher. Let's just talk on the phone from now on, okay? Let's stay long distance. Well, after that weird out of body experience, let's just get on with the next rank 2 mission. Get your money back after buying that overpriced sword and go back to the motel room. Uh, today's costume theme is entitled I Love Animals, complete with rock, path and skin, leopard and toucan. Be kind to animal kids. And let's go get our information for the next rank mission. Wonder how it's gonna be told to us today. Holy crap! That's some pigeon to be able to break through that glass like that. When was the last time you got mail like this? What do we got here? I was wondering what to do for dinner as well, you know? It's not like I can buy any food after wasting all my money on that beam katana. Some trouble at home? Where the hell's she gone off to? Probably just wants an extended vacation. this all about? The rank two match will be at Destroy Stadium. Oh, not the stadium again. Working girl. No, you're a not lazy bitch, stadium, which this just yeah. automatically proves. Okay, so can't send me anywhere new, can you? To go. I'm going all the way. That's a promise. And he's not talking about the rank missions, there, folks. <laughs> oh, I'm hilarious. Vote five, please. Don't, don't do that, you don't have to. Well, once you've got your claws, your beam katanas, your whatevers, you've done your training, let's head on over to Destroy Stadium again. Where to be original game. Do do do. Rank 2 mission is now open, so let's go and head over to Destroy Stadium. As long as you've been following this playthrough, I'm sure you'll know what that is by now. So get on your motorbike and let's head on over. Haven't been there since uh, Dr. Peace bit the bullet, literally. I wonder if all them baseball dudes are still there after I slaughtered them. I guess the uh, town could have just hired a new team. I'll be happy to uh, give them early retirement if you know what I mean. Wink, wink, wink no judge. Oh dear. I wonder what the Santa Destroyer is going to be like in the next game. They say that it's going to have changed over the past three years and apparently that uh, pizza butt's going to have taken over so... I wonder if they actually be a bit more interesting than this bland version. Now, when you get to the stadium, you'll be given a late game tutorial. What's the tutorial for? Jumping on your spiel tiger. Which I find very strange because this was the first things I did with my motorbike, learning how to jump with it. But simply, if you haven't learned by now, flipping the wheel motor up in the air will give the jumping motion for the motorbike. But it's so very static in this game. If you hit any item whatsoever, you're going to go flying off your motorbike. But not in a cool way like Grand Theft Auto, I suppose. Oh, there's a free Lobikov ball for you back there, if you need it. You're still collecting them anyway. 
Now, instantly for this mission, we need to stay on our motorbike to get on it. Why? You'll see in a minute. And who's today's assassin? You think you're bad, don't you? <laughs> oh god, this isn't going to end well. Hello, boys! Mind if I cut in? Now, for this very special mission, you'll have um, interrupted what I assume to be the Santa Destroyers baseball team's training um, appointments. But unfortunately for you, you can't have all these goons interfering with your ranked fat. So what do you do? You take your spiel tiger and run those fuckers over. Venvicular manslaughter's never been so fun. <laughs> oh, I love my job. Now this mission is, it can either go two ways. It can either be very easy for you, or it can be very tough. What I mean by this is, even though you start on your motorbike, there is a possibility, if they hit you enough times, that you will be knocked off your motorbike and you'll play the mission like any other um, rank mission. Meaning you'll just get your beam cut out and start attacking them. But the problem with this is, these baseball players are equipped with a lot of the more dangerous weapons such as beam katanas, guns, you know, all those things that piss you off normally in the game. So you need to be very careful and not get caught in the corner. The worst thing about this level is probably just that. Do not, whatever you do, do not go for that particular card until you've finished running all these bastards over. Because it's very easy to get stuck in that corner and they easily give some time for them to go and run you over. Also, while I'm on the subject of, uh, you know, stuff that's going on, I believe the music in the background is uh, Dynamite Rider, which uh, appears in motorbike sequences in this game. There is, this is going to be played one more time in the game, but I won't say when that is. You'll find out in the future parts soon enough. But apart from that, it's very easy and so satisfying to run these guys over, especially all the trouble they give you in the first uh, ranked mission you had. Well, first proper ranked mission, you know, after death metal anyway. Ah, uh, so satisfying. I wonder if there's going to be more sequences using the motorback in the next game. I mean, I did enjoy them, but I mean, you could really, you know, improve the combat system. Maybe even start Travis using his beam katana. I mean, with two beam katanas available in the next game, that would be pretty awesome to do. Uh, actually, speaking of uh, the next game, I might as well use uh, that as an excuse to talk about something while this sequence of running men over keeps going on. But the next game seems to be, you know, going places. One of the best things about it so far, and interesting to me, is the fact that you're going to be able to play different characters in the next game. The ones mentioned so far, of course, are Shinobu, who will be played well at certain times. You won't be given the choice, you'll just take over her for the main part as you do missions with her for a while. And there's another character, but again, I'm not going to say just to, I guess, keep some, you know, spoilers. Hey, did I that guy not get run over? Oh, dude, you should have just uh, left sat there. There you go. Rest in peace, bitch. But yeah, there's going to be two play new playable characters in the next game. Each with their own special abilities to make combat different from just playing with Travis. And with villains, let's just say that my confirmation of Destroyman coming back was true. In fact, he's going to be called New Destroyman in the next game. And let me just say, it is definitely the one that got decapitated. If you take a look at the pictures at the moment, you'll see why. In fact, there's a possibility that Helter Skelter will be returning in the next game as well. Apparently, there's a new picture showing a new assassin, which could possibly be Helter Skelter, because his design looks a lot like him, and there's the um, indication that he's covering his neck for a reason. And of course, in the trailer, Travis decapitated his head off, so... Hell, I mean, if you can bring back Destroyman, which got decapitated in half, I think you can bring back a guy who's uh, had his head cut off. Well, let's just uh, collect the last of these cards and uh, run these bastards over. Must cost them a fortune to keep hiring all these guys for the baseball team. Makes me wonder though why they keep playing baseball. They seem to be more used to killing people than actually playing a sport. Although I'm complaining, makes for easy pickings for me. There we go. We're not going to be actually uh, doing the ranked fight out here. Now you have the opportunity to get off your motorbike if you wish. Which you actually need to, to get down to the basement. And uh, go to our next rank fight. Lovely juggler. Right, what have we got here? Oh, that's not creepy in the slightest. 
Oh, here we go. Next up is a ranking match. Win, and you will be second in rank. Lose, and you go to hell. Before you fight, please use the restroom. When you are ready, head inside. Good luck, Travis. Trust your uh... Head for the Garden of Madness. Madness! That seemed rather abrupt for once. I wonder if that's got to do with her being absent from the fawn for this mission. Hmm. Oh, that bitch is always acting crazy, and I'll never understand her. Well, I guess before the part ends, let's uh, get our extra wrestling move from our mass stalker friend. Never understand how these get here. I wonder if that's um, Suda 51's wrestling mask. Possibly. You never know. Look, it's even signed MS. Oh, well, join me in part 23 where we're going to take on the rank 2 assassin. Till next time.